In this video, we will discuss how scale affects various objects in Vectorworks, such as text, symbols, and line types. We'll start with text objects. The size of a text object is set by choosing a point size. You can also set the size in page millimeters or page inches. The size is in relation to the current page dimensions. If you change the scale of a design layer that has text objects on it, you have the option to scale text. You would scale text if you want the size of the text in relation to the size of other objects to remain the same after the layer scale has been changed. Here I have a simple example of a rectangle with a callout. Currently, this design layer is at 1 to 25 scale. The rectangle is too large to fit on my page at this scale. If I change the scale of this layer with the scale text option checked, both the rectangle and the callout resize in relation to the page. In this case, I do not want to reduce the size of the text. If I undo this action and uncheck the scale text option, the text of the callout remains the same point size while the rectangle and the leader line reduce in size. Symbols, line types, and other resources like hatches allow you to choose whether or not they are page-based or world-based. This option controls how they are affected by scale changes. Here you can see two symbols. They are almost identical except one is page-based and the other is world-based. When I change the layer scale, you can see the world-based object appears to increase in size to maintain its real-world size, and the page-based symbol appears to be the same size in relation to the page, but is now smaller. Creating page-based objects is useful for annotation objects that should always remain the same size on the page, regardless of layer scale. World-based objects should be used when you need the object to adjust to the layer scale and maintain their real-world dimensions such as a 3D toilet or sink. In this example, we have a set of line types and hatches. As before, one of the objects in each set is page-based, and the other is world-based. When the scale is changed, you can see these objects behave similar to the symbols. The line type and hatch set to page-based maintain their size relative to the page, and the world-based ones change size. Scaling plugin objects in Vectorworks works differently. Most plugin objects in Vectorworks are parametric objects. Their physical size is determined by a set of parameters. Depending on which plugin you are scaling and which mode you use, you will see different effects. For example, if you use the scale objects command on walls, they will increase or decrease in size like other objects. Doors and windows will not, as their size is set by the plugin parameters. Layer scale changes affect plugins in different ways as well mainly in how text tags or ID labels change. For example, space objects use page-based symbols for their labels. This object remains the same size in relation to the page when the layer scale is changed and is not affected by the scale text option. To modify the size of the label, you need to edit the symbol directly and adjust the size of the text and other objects. Door and window ID tags are generated at the current default text size when the door or window is placed. These tags are affected by the scale text option when changing layer scale. Generally, most other plugin objects will use one of these methods to control text scaling. Whether you are using line types, symbols, hatches, or other resources, scale changes can affect these objects in different but predictable ways, depending on their settings. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for more video tech tips and other technical info. Thank you, and have a great day.